Hi everyone, how are you doing all? Today we shall discuss about deploying a Spring Boot based Java application in AWS Cloud. I shall show you the manual process as well as the deployment automation using Jenkins. First we shall deploy application manually in AWS and then we shall follow auto deployment process. So please stay with me till the end to know all these in depth. First we shall create a Spring Boot project from start.spring.io. Let's fill all the details here. Now we shall add Spring Web dependency because we are going to create a web project. We are done with all basic requirements. Let's generate the project. Let me extract the project to my workspace quickly. In Eclipse, I shall import the project. So, I am seeing a Maven configuration error here. It's an Eclipse bug. We have to add Maven jar plugin in pom.xml file. There we go. Files error is fixed, but still I can see an error in project level. To fix this, I have to update the project. And now it's clean. Next we shall create a Git repository at GitHub. Let me quickly fill up all these. and create the repository. So our repository is created. Copy the repository URL. Let me go to Eclipse. And from Properties, let's open the project in Windows File Explorer. We shall initialize git repository inside our project folder. So let's open command prompt here and type git in it and then git remote at origin, then paste the URL. Now let's go back to Eclipse. To take effect our newly created git repository, close and reopen the project. Now as you can see all git repository related options are appeared. Now I shall create a controller package in our project. And let's create a controller class person controller. Let's make it rest controller. And let me add a method here get name with request mapping slash get name. This will simply return kusik. Let's run it. Okay, 8080 port is already in use. Let's change the port to 8085. And run it. As you can see application is started successfully. Let's test it from browser. And there it is. So now let's commit the code. and push to git repository. Let me provide my credentials here. Our code is pushed now to GitHub repository. Let's check at GitHub quickly. Let's go to the AWS portal. You can see I have created one Windows EC2 instance already. If you don't know how to create a free Windows server in AWS, Please check my earlier video link at the top. There I discuss the process in detail. Now as you can see, I have connected with the Windows Server via RDP. I did not want to waste time, so I have already downloaded and installed Java. Get it Maven in this server. I have created a project folder. So let's clone our project inside this folder. We need to run git clone and then the URL. 
The clone is completed. And as you can check, all files and folders gets downloaded. Now go back to command prompt and go inside the clone folder. Then run MV and clean install to build the application. It will take couple of minutes. I'm fast forwarding it. Okay, the build is completed. You can check a target folder is generated here, inside which we have our jar file. So go back to the command prompt and go inside target folder to run java-jar and jar file name. Okay, it cannot find the jar, so let me put dot slash in jar file name. There we go, our applications is started. Let's test this from my local system. Copy the public IP from AWS portal and use that instead of localhost. And here we are, it's working. Now we shall do the same process but using Jenkins to automate the deployment. Before going into that, let me request you all, please subscribe to my channel. Your subscription, like and comments motivates me to create many such interesting videos for all of you. Let's go back to AWS Server RDP. Open browser and search Jenkins for Windows to download and install Jenkins. The process is very simple and similar to any other software installation. I'm fast forwarding this process. As you can see, Jenkins is installed and running at 8080 port. Very first time we need to log in using the admin password, which is in the mention path. So let's copy and log in. Now we are inside Jenkins. Now we have to create a new user. Go to Manage Jenkins. Find Manage Users. And create a new user. Now let's try to log in from my local system. We shall open Jenkins using public IP with 8080 port and log in using newly created user. And we are inside Jenkins. Now we shall create a job here. Click on create a job. Provide a job name. Let's say a WS code board deployment. Select freestyle project and continue to next step. Let's put some description. After that we shall configure our Git repository where our project resides. So select Git option from here, and we need to provide Git URL. So just copy it from repository and paste here. Now, we shall go to build section. From drop down, select execute Windows batch command. As we are using Windows Server, here we shall write few batch commands to build and run our application. Let me quickly write those, then I shall explain. Okay, so the first command will find the process, which is running in port 8085. We'll kill that process using task kill command. So basically, this command will stop old version of the application, which was already running in the system. After that, the MVN clean install will build our application. So our application build will be completed here. We need to add another command to start new application version. Let's add another Windows batch command area to make things easily understandable. Now this command will simply run the jar file using java-jar command. As we know, the jar will be generated inside target folder, so I have to put that in path. And the start here ensures to run the process in background, so that job does not get stuck. Using these commands, we basically automate the processes, what we did manually earlier. Save it. Now our job is ready. Let's click on build now. 
So, you can notice the build has started already. Let's go inside the build. And then console output. Here you can see, the job process output. Notice that, the jar build has started. We have to wait few seconds before it gets completed. Okay, now as you can notice the build process is successful. Now, it's executing the command to start our application. And we are done. The Jenkins job is finished with success. Let's go to the URL and refresh it. So it's working now. Let me go back to Eclipse and update the return value in controller. Let me push it to get a remote repository. Our updated code is pushed successfully now. Let's go back to Jenkins and start another build. Okay, our second build is completed successfully. Now if I refresh the page, you can see the updated return value. So the full build and deployment process becomes automated, right? That's it for today guys. Please let me know your feedback in comment section. Also like and subscribe to my channel Coboard. Thank you, and bye all.